today we are going to look at an important aspect that how we are going to make a dll that is dynamic link library and how we are going to make it and how we are going to use it so we are going to make two separate uh, applications one for making the dll the other one for uh, accessing this uh, dll or using this uh, dll so first of all we'll make a dll how we're going to do it we'll just make a simple add uh, function uh, and that function will be used in the calling application so let's get started we'll make a new project and in this project we will select this windows 32 console application and we'll name it as uh, let's say make dll and we'll hit ok and then to next and here this is an important uh, step you have to choose dll and then finish once you are done with this and we are about to make a dot h and dot cpp there are two files which we are going to make and finally we will we are going to run this program to make a dll so let's start with uh, dot h what we have to do is first add a new item and as dot h name it as add or whatever uh, you like add a dot h file it will come here it is a empty file make a new item again and again name it as add we'll have uh, add dot cpp we'll have add dot h or rather you can you know change here also because this is also an empty file because this is the basic file of this uh, project but still for the sake of uh, completion you know you people say that we have a cpp file we have a dot h file we want to give only dot h and dll so that's why i did that you can make here also so what i am going to do first of all in add dot cpp that uh, i'll make a function and this function will be simple return type is int add please mark this uh, uh, observe this carefully because this is the function this is the declaration or you can say definition which we are going to use uh, now while importing and exporting so int b and we'll just return a plus b and to make this cpp run we have to add hash include add dot h we are going to give the declaration of this function there and because we are working with c plus plus we have to give stdfx dot h2 come to add dot h and here what we are going to do we'll say if add uh, h is uh, not defined please define and we'll end this end if and we'll write just li one line in between this what will be the line again observe it very carefully because this is the exporting of dll so what we do we say int we give two underscore decl spec declare spec and then we have dll export and now what i was referring to is add int a comma int b and just end it with a semicolon so this line you have to uh, right here so we have add dot h with this one line with certain uh, def, def and end if condition 
and here we have dot cpp which actually has the definition of our function this is done now what you need you just need to build the solution and if at all any error is there you can see uh, remove that but uh, it's it ran pretty fine again now let me show you that if i go to open folder in new window in this debug in this debug i have a dll i have a lib now this these two file these two files are very important which we are going to use and our first uh, step was to make a dll that we have already made a supporting lib file is also there we are going to use these two but before we use it we just close the solution because our work is done we have made a dll out of this program so close solution let me make a new project which is actually going to consume this dll or use this dll so again a windows 32 console application uh, name it as test dll per se you know now name is yours you can choose whichever name you want go to ok next now see the previous application we made it as dll now we are making it as console application finish it okay now again we have to have two things what are the three things we have to had have that add dot h here we have to have that lib and dll dll is important and supporting dot h file so what we can do we can actually import add add existing item or rather what i'll do is i'll make a cpp uh, i'll make a uh, add dot h here so let me make a I'm just making it because I need to show you the code what to write. So add new item dot h and say add. Why I'm saying it as add because actually there are two ways we can include it. We can actually add existing item like this, or rather I can make add dot h. And what I have to write is same thing. Same thing I have to write. See the definition everything is same except this once again in previous example where we were making dl we wrote dl import export now we are actually exporting it we are making it we need to write this this is very important so this dl export if you uh, you know add this file from the previous uh, uh, application you will get this now you have to actually change it into import this is very important you have to change it as import now our work is done add dot h has been included go to the cpp simply go to this cpp and what you have to do is just give two variables say x is 100 y is say 1200 you can print i am using crude c so i'll add studio also you can use whichever line you want just print it and now what i'm doing is i am actually calling this add function which is nowhere to be found it is there in dll it, it was in previous application so we need to get the result also here so I'll show the result in the console for that I'm using this get care and since add dot h is there we have to add hash include this also okay we are done but still we are pending with the files in file inclusion so I'll just save save all I'll open the previous solution make dll i'll go to open folder i'm right clicking at open to open folder in windows explorer i'll go to 
the place where these two file I can find I'll pick these two file copy it and again go back to test DLL because this is the existing actual testing bed I'll again go to open folder in new explorer and what I'll do is I'll just copy these two file here now as I copied it how to know that these two files are there for that one more last thing which I have to do is I have to go to the properties and to link uh, to input and add additional dependencies now what I have to give see what were the name make dll dot link this is the external dependency okay apply okay and now everything is has been done we are going to execute the program run the program and see we have x equal to 200 y equal to 1200 and add is 1300 this add function which we have employed here is actually taken from the previous application where we built the dll hope you understood that thank you so much take care